What's up, y'all? This is Speakeasy. This is your boy Rudy Gay, brought to you by Believe Network. This is episode number two, and 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 it's gonna be more of what we do. Um, talk about you know specific subjects, whatever, whatever's coming up, whatever's on on any of our minds, yours or mine. Um, but today, you know, I think everybody's been watching. Every, all basketball fans, at least, have been watching. You know, the the Memphis and the Golden State series, and um. Obviously, someone that uh, can see it from a different perspective and, and showed that was Draymond Green. Um, if you know, if you don't know, he was ejected from the game uh, with a flagrant two foul. Um, you know, he had some choice words about it afterwards. But, uh, you know, to me, it's more about, well, it's not about the foul as much as it is him being able to go on his own platform and explain after the game. And um, me being an athlete as well, that was huge. Um, You know, we come from a culture of not being able to really create our own narrative. And obviously Instagram is something that's helped us with that. You know, being able to show and do it, you know, do what we like and be able to show people that we have a personality. But, you know, for so long, people have looked at us as just like these certain people. And, um, you know, we have families, we have friends, we have, you know, kids, whatever, whatever you may say, but, you know, and we're actually, we're actual people, you know, we go through things and um, people don't expect you to like, actually, you think, you know, a call or an ejection and things is something that people just have to deal with. But, you know, when you have your own platform like Draymond, which I think this is genius, the fact that he can go on there and, you know, create his own narrative about what happened. Um, and people don't know ejections, they cost. You got to pay for that. That's money out of your pocket. Um, and, you know, you expect us to, you know, leave the court in a timely manner, um, you know, not have any passion. Um, I've even once seen a, a referee follow a player to see what he's going to say. Um, you know, I'm not going to name any names or any series or, or any particular time. I've seen a referee actually follow a player to see if he's going to say something when, you know, obviously in the, in the moment of battle, you know, things happen, people talk, you know, we get into altercations and, you know, you need to allow people the chance to cool off if they're trying to cool themselves off. Um, but, you know, but the thing about it is I wouldn't suspect anything different from Draymond. So, you know, it was a great situation. Uh, and, you know, I just, I, I applaud him for that, you know, going straight on. A lot of people would be scared to say something that would bite, you know, bite them in the ass in the future. But, you know, he went up there and he did what he did and said what he said. And, and everybody has, you know, we have personalities. We have our own takes on calls or whatever. Obviously, we don't get paid on that stage to do that. But, you know, obviously we have we have our own way of thinking about it. But number two is what does that mean for future athletes? You know, you get a chance to go up there and actually, you know, it's bigger than this just this one game or bigger than this one, one instance is more about people actually getting up there and being able to show their self or even show how much they know about the game. Um, you know, these young athletes coming up, you know, they, they have opportunities that the ones before us didn't have. And, you know, I'm on the tail end of my career and I'm seeing it change right in front of me. Um, you know, spearheaded by people like Draymond, people like, um, you know, Iggy, Iggy, who's still playing, which is, uh, you know, Point Forward is one of my favorite podcasts. Shout out to Iggy and Evan Turner for that. Um, they're great. Um, obviously, I am athlete who are, who are you know, former athletes that are taking over and showing their way of doing things. Um, that's, that's just something that we should do more, have a voice. I mean, I mean, honestly, just like any business, anything else, people have voices that probably shouldn't be heard. <laughs> you know, you got some idiots out there. Idiots do all kinds of jobs. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. You know, some would say even our last president was an idiot. So, you know, you know, it is what it is. People have their opinions, but, you know, I feel as though you can even make or break yourself with, with having this, this, this platform, these platforms to go out there and speak your mind. Um, But my question is to, you know, the younger players out there, like what, you know, I I can't, I can't speak for my younger self. Well, I can speak for my younger self, um, but I can't speak for my younger self in these, these days, these days of social media, podcasts, these platforms. I can't speak for myself right now. Um, what I can say, you know, a person that was drafted at 19, I know, you know, I probably wouldn't have mastered this. 
So there will be some fuck ups along the line as far as people going out there and saying certain things. But we also have to remember that, you know, we are giving people a freedom to speech and say whatever they need to say or whatever's on their mind or the time of passion. So, you know, that's why I applaud Draymond even more because it's right after the game. Obviously the team won. He wanted to be a part of it. He's a competitor, but you know, he's still hot, still mad and up there and, and as eloquently as he possibly could explain what he thought should have happened during that game. And I applaud him for that. Um, which is not always the case. Cause you know, I mean, my, I saw Blake Griffin do a joke when I forgot what it was, but you know, he asked the host of a show to do like a hundred jumping jacks. And uh, right when he was done, he put a microphone in his face and asked him questions that he should answer. And he couldn't like, yo, you put a microphone in the athlete's face right after the game, right at these emotions and right after everything goes on. Not all the time would you ever be able to get what the athlete's actually thinking or what he thinks he should say. It's just whatever going on at that time. And, you know, um, as you've seen in the past, a lot of guys say some things that they probably shouldn't. And I don't think it should be, you know, taken off guard or people should, should take them as, you know, the person that is saying that at that time. Um, yeah. But the team that they're playing um, in the playoffs is the Memphis Grizzlies is a team that, well, not a team. I, don't, I, I, I played there a long time ago, but, uh, a city that I I can relate to. I've been in. I lived in. I have friends still there. They have a whole city behind them. I'm not saying Golden State doesn't, but you know it's different. Memphis is different. It's a different city. You know, you do good in Memphis. You are protected. You know by everybody, every single person. And uh, you know, I'm happy to see them boys go out there and play hard for that city because it deserves it. Um, you know, I know what people look at Memphis as and, and what how they view it, but, um, you know, they're changing the narrative for it. They're making it a, a destination for, for, for free agents, which, you know, has been up and down as far as that. Um, but, you know, and, and the local celebrities showing out, you know, you got your money bags, you got your, you know, your God is everybody showing up. And I think that's great for the city. Um, you got uh, T. Morant which is showing this tale too, you know, I mean, I have two sons and I, I mean, I personally can't, I can't tell you how, how, how I react if my son was performing on that level. So uh, shout out to both of them, man. Shout out to Josh, shout out to T, his father. Um, I met him a couple of times, seemed like a cool dude. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's it. I just took this time to think about, you know, I had a couple of things in my mind about what was going on. And, uh, you know, luckily I'm blessed to have to believe what network to be able to say what the hell I want to say on my mind. So, you know, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This is a speakeasy. I'll holler at you later.